Hello again, we are back. Uh, the daily went pretty well, for the most part. Uh, no issues with it. It was pretty fast. Oh, we got Samson. 307X3VGR. So we got a uh, Curse of the XL here. So... Which means we can't take damage. Your tier rate's gonna be like a little low. Or a little high. Whatever. Um. Yeah. So. Just trying to see what else to talk about now. We just kind of talked about a bit, I guess, last video about, uh. Uber and news and stuff like that. Just little things. COVID. I think we're done about talking about COVID for now. Because uh, it's just everywhere in the news, of course. But. Drink some water here. Ah, there we go. My throat was getting a bit scratchy last video. Not used to talking so much, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm pretty fortunate I haven't lost my voice yet. Uh, I've been getting some time with breaks with uh, talking and drinking plenty of fluids before, during, during and after the video. Uh, video recordings. I don't think I really want that, because if I were to get a bomb item, then we're going to have a bunch of bomb synergies just left and right. And, yeah, free bombs, but it's just, no, we need to get some damage. Yeah, it's, uh... Th things are going well here, I guess. I mean, I'm not complaining too much with the weather. Yeah, it's a little cold and stuff, and a little cloudy, a little gloomy, but like... It's better than subarctic temperatures, you know? We're not like in Serbia or anything. I think it's Serbia, where it's like super, super sub-zero temperatures and stuff. I think that sounds about right. I guess we could talk about traveling. <laughs> uh, people are probably antsy to traveling too. Uh, I know I am a little bit. I got a passport a few months ago. A few months ago, and uh, I have been thinking about over the years of getting a passport. We'll take that because I like this idea of want to travel outside of the US to kind of like check out all sorts of different like countries at least safe countries and countries that are probably going to open up in the near future but like uh, yeah it's because uh, last year I took a trip up to uh the northern border of Minnesota, I think. Yeah. And it was, uh, I mean, it was to be expected a lot cooler than normally is down south, further down south. Um, but they had these giant seagulls, like, there. It was just ridiculous in size. Probably because, like, they got plenty of, like, uh, fish from, I, I think it's Lake Erie? I'm trying to remember the fish. Uh, not a fish. Lake. Or is it just a great lake? I don't know. S something like that. Um, it was a large lake, let's just say. Very large lake. And, uh... It was cool. 
Went to, uh, to Duluth. Um, very big city. It was an interesting city, too, because, like, it had all these different hills and, like, all these buildings and stuff like that were all on hills. It's just huge. It was really steep, too, getting into that city. Huge winding roads. and It's like as if you're on a mountain, but it's not a mountain. It's just a bunch of hills. It's crazy. And I think it's a town about, like, 200,000 people or something. <laughs> and, uh... Went to a few places there. Went to, uh... The museum. No, well, it's not a museum. It's, well... <clears throat> it's like a combination of a museum. And a, uh... And a zoo, sort of, for like fish. Aquarium, that's right. <laughs> it had all these different like fish and reptiles and they even had like otters <laughs> playing and stuff like that. Um, which is pretty cool. We went to like the bowling alley there on the way back, which just recently they just posted it for an auction to sell that whole building and everything they put up for sale, which is unfortunate. Um, they're probably not seeing as much of a turnout due to COVID, but like it was an interesting bowling alley. To say the least, like it was, it was more like classic. Because the one in my hometown, they kind of just put a bunch of television screens, and these television screens in front of like the uh, or next to the uh, um next to the score, like LCD screens, like they. Uh, We just play all sorts of advertisements and whatever else is on, like this constant noise. And not to mention the bowling alleys wasn't really that great looking. I mean they try to make it look all like modern and stuff, but it wasn't like you know the old classic kind of look. Just too many distractions. You know, even to the point where like even their bathroom stalls, I think it's the urinals. Uh, for the men's room, at least. Um, not sure about the women's room. Uh, they... They more the lines... Like, put in a... Uh, LCD screens. Over the urinals. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good upgrade there. And that just kind of sucks, because it's like... Like, I don't need all these TVs. But they're just just doing that, um, running all the time. And then where else I went to? We also had a hard time, kind of, with uh, finding a place to stay for the night because at the time. I don't know how it is now. But, like, at the time, the old tales and mold tales around the state were doing, like, this airing out process. Like, they clean the bedrooms and they air them out and they leave it aired out for, like, 24 to 48 hours. So that, like, complicates a lot of things when it comes to, like, finding something available and the lack of space. And everybody's traveling around that time of year. And we found a place, thank goodness. We had to call like all sorts of different places around the area and we managed to find one. They had a like a pool and stuff like that, a public pool. They had like just all sorts of stuff.
Now, I can't remember the uh, the motel name or hotel name. Is the Harriet? I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Because, like, we went to another one, too, on the way back in Duluth. And the pools and gyms and stuff like that was so extremely restrictive when it came to, like, just doing anything. Like, it's it would be pointless to really, like, even, like, get involved with going in there and doing whatever. Because you have to put your name down. You have to put your telephone number down. And you're limited to, like, 30 minutes to 45 minutes or something at the pool. And you can't interact with anybody. Just a bunch of these, like, Krakorian, uh rules and it was just like just so overboard so it was just pointless the breakfast was just ridiculous too <laughs> like the breakfast we had at the first hotel was like much better than the breakfast at this hotel even though it was like a little pricier uh, for the second one they treat you like you're a kid because they just give you like juice and a fruit not a hot meal or anything fun. And then they'll give you Folgers coffee. <laughs> they'll tell you it's Folgers. At least that, yeah. They'll tell you it's Folgers, but it's Folgers. And, yeah, so that was my trip there. And then another trip, uh, we went out uh, west to uh it's west whatever what direction i don't know uh anyways we went out very far out into iowa for uh valeska or something like that valeska the town of valeska and uh just way out there and in iowa and The thing with Valeska was like, <clears throat> it was, uh, I mean, it was a really small town, of course. It's kind of cool, kind of a farming community. But like, the big, the big thing about it was like, there was a house you could stay in. It's kind of like a, uh, like, like a bed at breakfast, sort of. You stay at like somebody's house, but like nobody lives there. I know it lives there, but they own the place. It's kind of, you know, up to modern standards and things like that. To a degree. Um, <laughs> I say to, to, to a degree because, like, um, that was the whole appeal of the house. Because um, it was the axe murder house stuff. And uh, from way back when. And they want to keep it like, you know, as spooky as they can. So like, there's no lights in the uh, in the building at all. And if you want to use the bathroom or get water, you have to go outside to the uh, kind of kind of like a uh, shed or something like that, a big shed. Just kind of cool. Um, kind of interesting experience. We were there for a night. Not really a whole lot of spooks and stuff like that happened, of course. And then, like, months later, there was this uh, journalist group that went out there, and they were doing the same thing, too. So, like, I guess we both had a general idea about, like, <laughs> going out there and uh, exploring the spooks. The spookiness. No key, huh? Do keys exist in this floor? Or did I use one? Did I use one by mistake? No. This is the big floor too. It's not even XL. Got some good health, that's good.
I mean, I've taken different, like, kinds of transportation over the years for, like, vacation stuff. I've been on trains, I've been on planes, and I've been on automobiles. And, uh... been on a train a couple of times. One was like kind of a short distance, the other one's like a multi-day journey. <laughs> there are a couple of airplane rides too. Oh, I did take a uh, trailway bus. There's buses too. A couple of times. room's interesting if we have a key to get in our shop but looks like it's gonna well we could use a bomb there but we also need the money a little bit for our next shop another room that requires keys no keys okay well, this is kind of one of those rare things where it's like you don't get keys for this floor to go in any rooms, any special rooms. And it's Chubb. All glory to Chubb. Got decent damage because we keep getting hit. So hopefully we don't get hit this time for it. Ooh! Almost snuck on me, Chubb. I didn't think so. More health. Like I need it. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's it's nice to get out and like do some stuff. Of course, it's uh, see some new like you know vantage points and quirky looking uh, not quirky quirky looking, but like quirky like um. Like area stuff, like uh, what they got going on. You're all just tempting like me with I'm this. Can I push this out on a time? Out of time? No, not quite. I mean, that's if I have a key in the future, which it doesn't look like it at this point. Because keys are like a rare, precious commodity. Okay. Well, it's a not, it's a uh, it's a card. I'll I'll say that. And we got hit again. We might ruin our deal with a devil chance, but it's fine. It's fine. As long as we get like more damage, more tears and stuff instead of like health upgrades. Oh man. Oh man. There we go. Let's uh, let's just uh, keep it, keep it real. Oh, these things are not nice. There we go. I'm still gonna keep with the uh, keep with the other thing. Keep keep with the other trinket, the uh, the fly one, fishtail. Oh, no key, huh? Cool. Or bombs. Well, yeah. There we go. The amount we can't spend yet. Um. Yeah, it's. No, now we get a key. Now I say we go to the shop first, because that might give us a chance to get a key. There is a key. There's some health, and there's this, because this should help us with the, those mother fights in the future, if things start to take a sour turn. Let's see, what floor are we in? This one, okay, we're good. And I think we should just utilize that a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's, it's tricky. 
Uh, all right. I had to think on that for a second, but I need to get a tears upgrade to some degree and some level of protection. Nothing in there of interest. And this should help us with de deal with the devil stuff in the future because we won't I mean as long as we get some health. Okay, let's see here. Let's go through here. Squeeze. There we go. We'll just hit that because we can. And actually, you know what? Let's go to this room here. Let's see over here. And uh, hit that. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Okay, we cannot hit uh, do that anymore. <laughs> but we got a uh, tear cap right now. Unless we find a couple of items that get past this to that point. But that is a good, good thing. Okay. Oh, we'll go here. Oh, more money. Cool. So, yeah, it's, uh... I mean, I don't have a whole lot to really go off of when it comes to traveling. Like, I've been to different Oktoberfest too, over the years. And... I mean, obviously, it's involved drinking, but, like, there's other cool stuff, too, depending on where you're from and where you go, like, place I like to go to. It has a lot more German traditional stuff. I mean, not just drinking, but it's like, uh, they got, like, a bunch of different music playing, dancing. Um, and keep in mind it's pre-COVID because things are kind of getting shut down at the moment. But, well, not at the moment, but for a while with this. Um, okay, there's bratwursts. Mmm. Some bratwurst with some, uh, maybe a little bit of relish and stuff. Mmm. That stuff is good. And they got these, like, sometimes even some places, they got these little wineries and stuff like that. Where you could sample wine. And, well, mostly wine. Not so much with beer. But. Yeah, and then you got all these little shops, too. Which is really cool. Where you can, like, check out all sorts of, like, knickknacks and whatever. Um. I mean, I didn't go last year because, like, due to COVID reasons, um, things being shut down, but... I was there the year before. It was, it was very nice. Um... We might, we might have it again this year, at least for here, maybe, I don't know. Oh, well, this is an interesting room. You just stay over there. No, you don't want to stay over there, okay. i never seen this room before. Out of over like a thousand hours, let's see. Actually, let me think. Yeah, something like that. Hours of Isaac, like, or after 10,000 years of Isaac, I'd never seen that room. Kind of memes. But that's a, that was an interesting room. Didn't bother us too much. Um, okay, we were pretty fortunate with this. I don't think this is going to help us get into the boss rush room. But this is going to at least help with the floors. And whatnot. We'll take this. I mean, just in case. 
force uh, immediately hidden in that room. Getting hit in that room. Okay, they use this room sneaky too. Verp, verp, it's gonna. No, I'm not taking that. No banks. That'll help. For a possible future deal with the devils and giving us at least a little bit of health. Um. Yeah, I can't wait for October Fest again. Like. Checking out all the shops, trying all the different drinks. We'll take ya. Yeah, little spewer. My little puking buddy. Stars. Not really much helpful at this point. Because I'm not sure, like. Well, then again, we're not using the magician card. Okay, well, we got our house to the deal with the devil. So, uh. Never mind with like cabinet for the next floor. <laughs> uh, we can use this Bible in the mom fight too, so that makes it a little, a little simpler. Oh, it does work. Okay, because like the Xbox version is glitched. So good thing we took that. Okay, let's see what we want. Mulligan is real good. I don't know about that. Okay, let's. Uh, you know what? Well, shoot. Okay, you know what? Instead of using it for the mom's fight, let's try to preserve our health a bit. I think there's a battery. Yeah, so we can use it for the for the next fight. I'm gonna take this with us. Yeah, in the Xbox version, for some reason, it just does not work. Period. Just certain little things. It's just glitched. So we'll take the Polaroid. And after all that, that was just like hot trash. So we'll just take it anyways. They need a buff shade. Shade doesn't do much. I mean, it, it helped me in some runs, but... Eh, all that, like... That's something I just want to pick up for fun. Okay, so our damage is a little subpar. Uh, but with... The mall again and little spewer that might help us a little bit, but oh, we do have uh, that's right, we have fishtails, so that's going to increase our fly output every time we uh, land a shot or certain shots. Of course, I get hit there. I think when you see these enemies, that means there is going to be a um, matriarch. Seems like almost every time I see those, that means, like, you better watch out. They're gonna get you. Like that little thing. So, hopefully, we, uh, we hold it together, Captain. Okay. Room spooky, there we go. Spirit heart is nice. I tried some German beer for Oktoberfest, like actual German beer. And not like the cheap <laughs> uh Oktoberfest. Uh, themed Budweiser. That's not real beer. Sorry to say. Or Coors Light or any of that stuff. Um, now I had a natural beer. It was like kind of a blackish color to it or something like that, which is pretty cool. Different hops you can taste and everything. It's real good. Take well, too many hits here. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be a. Uh... No, it's not. Good. Oops, there we go. So, this can be a little risky, biscuits. 
Okay. I mean, that is do much for us at this point. I tell okay. 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 I'll take brimstone again. <laughs> now we gotta be very cautious. Damage still isn't up to par per se. Okay, we got a, a beggar. Uh, you get away from me with that troll bomb. And two spirit heart payouts. Like, that's pretty lucky. I was hoping to get more money for this beggar, but hopefully he pays out soon. Okay, come on. Mystery sack. Okay, you may pay out, but we'll see. Ah, let's try it. Little baggy. Oh, oops. I got two vert pills. Oopsie doodles. Oopsie poopers. Poopers. I don't know. So with the mall again and brimstone, we're gonna generate quite a few flies along with uh, fishtail. Now, one thing I haven't tried is this Midwestern thing. Uh, meal I heard about it. it's uh, tenderloins, which is like breaded like meat. I forgot what meat it was. Another Midwestern thing I tried before was uh, see, it's a tender rock, and I can't get to it. Was um, what is it called? It's called Made Right, I guess. And it was alright. It was pretty good. Really greasy, of course. You know, let's, let's, like, not deal with this room. There we go. Oh, you know what? That paid it for itself. That's nice. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I've tried some weird stuff and uh, some good stuff and... Some questionable stuff for food. When I went out to the West Coast uh, years ago, I tried like elk and stuff, and that stuff's real good. That's probably what I should cook tonight, is like some bacon or something. I don't think, well, they do sell elk here, but it's kind of like certain stores. Um, even like less stores for the good quality stuff, of course, but uh, let's see here. Let's just keep exploring a bit. Without getting yeeted by these things. There we go. That was a close call. I'm just like looking for just random stuff dropping from whatever. Gotta watch out for that spike. We need some flight. I mean, that's nice, but not compared to what we got here. Okay, we're gonna go back for that tin rock because we're gonna need that. Unless we get a devil deal, that's pretty good too, and it, then we just use up what we just uh, wanted to preserve. Okay, this run's looking pretty good so far. I mean. Can't complain with our setup. Apart from Little Baggy. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, you know what? That's right. I keep forgetting we got that. And goodbye and good night. Haha. <laughs> Curse of the Blind, huh? Well, that ain't gonna affect me too much because I took your little baggy. Uh, the only thing that's gonna, like, perturb me is, uh, Miss and No, or, uh, Cursed Eye, 
which I probably would take reluctantly because I need just a little, just a little bit more damage and a little bit more oof. Okay. This is not the way Barry rolls all item pedestals on the floor, which we haven't came across to them yet. I would go in that curse room, but then that's just risky. Unless we have a teleportation card. This is a dead end. Fine. Right now the Bible is kind of useless with after the mom fight. Yeah, it's gonna help with some flight stuff, but like aside from that, like not really a whole lot. And we got this interesting room here. There we go. Ooh, ten rock. Ooh, golden chest. Ooh, consumables I don't really need anymore. You're just too kind. We'll go in here. Why not? I mean, at this point, I got enough keys to, like, utilize whatever's on the chest. Take my fly! There we go. I get some delicious bacon later, though. Like, get that all cooked up and stuff. Like, I like black pepper with it, too. But the thing is, like... I mean, it's probably because I'm cooking it too high on the stove. Um, it just kind of, like, spits back at you. The grease and stuff. When you put that stuff on there. I think maybe because it's more reactive that way. Okay, now we're going to, like... Now, Isaac's a tricky sucker, because, like, his shots are homing and whatever, and then you got these angel fetuses coming at you. Sneak up on you. Oh, boy. Just <laughs> dodging, 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 because our damage still isn't that great. Our health is not that great either. We just got to, like, take him down. At least it's enough to, like, push him back, so to speak. Speed's a little subpar. Okay, back in the corner we go. We did it. I'm surprised we didn't get hit. Okay. Curse is lost. Mm-hmm. 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 So this doesn't... Oh, that lowers it too. Okay, cool. So we got a way out in case something funny happens here. So we got chocolate milk, so that reduces our... tear rate. You know what? Why not? We're not using these. I mean, it doesn't do much for our sake, but whatever. So what we need is a damage upgrade and some health. Okay. Okay, that, that helps a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Just for, like, spawning enemies and stuff like that. You gotta go. This laser guy has gotta go. Okay. Okay. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I wonder if the tear cap would lower if we, like, just get rid of our last bone heart, but I'm not taking that. I just as much I want some speed and stuff like that, that's just too much. This room's alright for its size, as long as we just kind of keep our distance. 
away from every freaking thing that's going on here. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got hit. Well, it is what it is. And we'll respawn as Blue Baby, which will get the Polaroid effect. We'll get three out of hearts, and good lord, this room. Just reeks of crap, <laughs> of course. Two mega fatty champions. I mean, yeah, why not? Demon Baby, welcome to the journey. This mystical journey of... Uh, Isaac. I'm kind of curious though, like, I wonder if, like, baking with, you know, layer of cheese with bacon would taste good. It's disgusting that might sound like, kind of think about it, it's like, bacon and cheese, I mean, it would be no different than putting bacon on pizza or something, except that's like bread and stuff, and sauce, but... Get some bacon. You guys remember the uh, the old commercials with the uh, dog food commercials with like the bacon bits or something, kibbles and bits or something. I just constantly advertised it when I was a kid. It was just like a bunch of dog food. Ah, oh, kibbles and bits. Bacon and all this stuff. They try to advertise. Not real bacon, it's just like artificial. No, you don't give animals real meat. What are you doing? You're crazy. No, you gotta give them a strict vegan diet. Changed their diet after thousands of years, and uh. Oh, well, this room's not nice! Come on, kill him! Oh, not quite, alright. So, good news. I think we got plenty of health here. Thanks to Blue Baby, and we've got Polaroid invincibility if we get hit. So we get hit, we're just going in there and uh, slap them with our meat, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, play on words, I guess. And we did it. So that that turned out pretty well. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.